What will I do? I will ensure that I help my students develop the leadership, advocacy, and speaking skills to make sure that Robert's, Jaden's, Calais, Levy's, and Samantha's dreams can become a reality. I have a dream that all people that don't have jobs will have jobs so they can be working. I have a dream that one day other people in the world will be able to afford food, shelter, and clothes on their back. These students' dreams aren't impossible, and with my Master's of Science in Education, I will work even harder to make sure that I give them the best education I can possibly give them. If there's anything I've learned from the Johns Hopkins Master's of Science in Education program, it's we, as teachers, need to constantly strive for more in our classrooms. More doesn't always mean more grading, but rather, more means more for our students. We need to find more ways to incorporate technology and to prepare our students for 21st century skills. Next year, I'll be teaching in this room um, because I was offered the job to take over the school's yearbook program. Not only will I be taking over the program, but I will be moving it to a completely electronic system. Johns Hopkins has taught me that the best teachers are always willing to try new things and I'm definitely pushing myself out of my comfort zone to make my students and school a better place. I pledge to continue to try new things inside and outside of the classroom in order to make myself a better teacher and my community a stronger place. We also need to find more ways to engage our students in rigorous thinking and writing tasks. I chose this room in particular because on this board behind me, last month, my students participated in a National Book Writing Month. On the charts you can see behind me right now are their trackers over the month on how many words they had reached um, each class period. 10,000 words in 30 days. Though I did this activity with 30 students, only 11 of them succeeded in reaching the 10,000 words. However, all of us celebrated in reaching 7,000 words in 30 days minus 8 snow days, 2 pipe freezing days, and 1 testing day while teaching the entire content curriculum. That wasn't me. That was my students. They were able to push themselves and their writing to produce novellas that I treasured over spring break. My master's degree has taught me to create projects like this, not to kill students, but rather to show how incredible their voices and their stories are. I pledge to continue to spread the power of student advocacy and leadership. My students have strong voices, and this master's program has taught me how poignant their voices can be. Finally, I will ensure I live up to my degree by giving my students the resources to follow my dreams. Their dream. Speaking, listening, and analyzing are all key parts of being a transformational teacher. I will continue to use Socratic seminars, fishbowls, debates, students, reversing roles with teachers for whole class periods, and other student-centered work to ensure that my students are best prepared to become successful contributors to their community when they leave my classroom. I pledge not only to teach my students, 
but to attempt to guide them to the resources and knowledge necessary to become successful in their future. Before I started this master's program, my first year of teaching, my goal was to make it an entire day without having to call a security officer. This program has taught me that I can embrace the chaos my students have, embrace my students' voices, embrace the technology skills that they have that I don't have in order to create a classroom where I'm not teaching them, but we're teaching each other how to be better people. And that's what I leave this program with. Thank you.